Welcome back. Happy holidays, everybody. Before we draw the present, I just gotta let you know. My game Dwarf has a new classic tower defense game mode and the game is 20% off the biggest sale we've done thus far. We're also doing a Dwarf plushie campaign. Click the link in the description. I'm gonna create a canvas that's 32 by 32 just because I wanna get a little bit more details in this piece of art, you know? So I made a white background and now I'm gonna create a new layer. We can click this little lock icon there so we don't accidentally hop on that background layer. I do that all the time. And let's start drawing our present. I think the first thing we should do is kind of get the shape of it. There's a couple different ways that we could do this present, right? So we could kind of have it completely side view where the shape would be kind of like this. By the way, I like having this kind of like thick top up here. But I think what I want to do is give it a little bit of dimension. I want to make it a little bit 3D. Now, I could go straight down the middle if we wanted the present to um, uh, to be exactly the same on both sides. But I think when I, when I make stuff 3D, I kind of like to not make it exactly on the corner. Like, uh, I don't think this needs to be isometric. That, that that's, a, that's the word for it. I think somewhere like right here might be the best. Maybe here. I think right there would be the best. And now since the lid is actually sticking out, you wouldn't have this line go straight up. It would actually be more like over here because now it looks like there's a little bit of uh, you see how it sticks out a little bit here. So um, make sure you don't divide it exactly the same both ways. This already looks kind of cool. And uh, but let's give it some of that. Let's give it some of that dimension. OK, so I think about there. So to make sure everything has the same perspective, what we can do is copy that line, control C, control V, and we're going to paste it up here. And let's see, does that look good? Or maybe like that? No, like that. Yeah, like that. I changed my mind with this small pixel density. That kind of perspective is just, it, it, it's going to be very finicky and very hard to make it look good. So we're going to still add perspective to it, but we're going to do a little trick here. Okay, something like this. I think we need to move that lid down. Probably to like here, honestly, if we're going to have a bow on top. We can make it taller later. Yeah, I like it there because it makes it look a little bit the the, the box look a little bit rounder. I kind of want to remove that pixel there too on that edge. We could even remove it here and here. if We want it to look a little bit rounder, you know, but I don't know. I think just for the bottom, I'm going to maybe round it. Now, since it's sticking out on this side, we also got to make it stick out on this side here. And now um, we're going to copy. We're going to copy this angle. And you're just going to bring it over to here. All right, place that there. And now I think we can just pull this across and we have our 3D three dimensional looking ish box. And now let's uh, um, let's fill this with color. It's about time to get some color in this. So I like I like red, but just going like completely red and stuff is a little bit boring. So what we're going to do is I'm going to hue shift like a little bit towards purple uh, just so that wait, why didn't that fill it? Why did that paint bucket spill? Oh, you got to have contiguous turned on. OK, so now I want to add some shading to this. The obviously the simplest thing we can do is just to drag down and make uh, uh, both these sides a little bit darker. You can barely tell, so I, I like to have the contrast a little bit on the higher end. So I do like the uh, the difference here. And then for the this lower part, I would make this even darker. Hold on, let's make that let's make it even harsher. Like this is even darker. And then for the total top, let's lighten that. Let's lighten that up and make that a tiny bit darker. It's almost subtle, but um, but yeah. 
um, and I'm going to just try to add a tiny, tiny bit of blue into my shading here. And I think that just makes it look a little bit cooler to add that blue. And then for the top, what we could do is we could add a tiny bit of yellow to the top. You could barely see that, so I'm going to click again. And the more I click, I can keep adding it. That's what's good about having a low opacity is that you can slowly add more and more. So I added a tiny bit of yellow to the top there, which makes it look like there's a little bit more lighting coming from up there. So this box so far for the present, it has a lot of dimension and it looks really good. But let's go and add some shading. What I'm gonna do is add a new layer and I'm gonna call it shading or shadows or something like that. And this way what I can do is I can take like something like the, the color black. I'm actually gonna go like dark blue, uh, dark blue cause I do wanna have a little bit of uh, a little bit of color in there and I can take this dark blue and add a shadow to the bottom of uh, of this lid since it's uh, sticking out a little bit and as you can see like that's that doesn't look very good however if I double click the layer now here I can mess with the opacity and the benefit of this is I don't need to recolor anything and um... oh that looks so good <laughs> I love it we could even add a little bit of a gradient here, but um, I don't think that's very necessary. Now I do like outlines, however, I think that outlines um, don't need to exist on the inside everywhere. And what I mean by that is, for example, this line right here, it doesn't really need to be there. And look, just by me going over it with white, you can see that um, it kind of looks like a glare, a highlight. So sometimes you can show the corner of something, not with a dark outline, but with a, a bright line. And that's what I'm going to do here. I am going to, however, add a little bit of, uh, I am going to add a little bit of color into it. Not, I'm not going to make it white. If it was metallic, maybe, but since this isn't metallic, um, I think that, I think that it needs to have some, some color in it. And maybe something like that. It doesn't need to be too bright. However, now that we did it to that side, it looks odd to not have it on the other side as well, right? So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put it on this side as well. But now it lost its um, it lost its dimension, right? So we still need to shade this side as well. Uh, even, even the outline now, because it, it is the outline now, but it, the outline needs to be different colors for different sides of it. And I think maybe I can go a little bit more, make it a little bit more obvious. And so that way, even though we have two edges there, they're not the same colors. And honestly, if you want, you, there doesn't really, for this side, I don't think that maybe we don't even need an outline. And what I mean by that is you could do something like this and not have a, a glare there, but you could have a dark line there and that kind of implies more that like not every side is reflected you know so um, and I didn't use a, a completely black outline there because I still wanted to show that it has some uh, some uh, dimension or whatever this this um, this spot is a little bit tricky that's where that's where this is where I think I would try to add a little bit of fading and if you want you could even do something like that and um, what this will do is it'll kind of make it look like there's a little bit of a little bit of texture there or whatever. But um, I think I'm just going to fade it uh, like that. And I'm going to put a little bit of that fade on the other side as well. So it looks like there is a reflection on this side. But, um, you know, we have we have enough pixels here where we might as well add uh, add the details in there, add the gradients in there. So I think that we can also lighten the outline up here as well. I'm going to take the my base color for uh, for this present, and I'm going to very lightly. I mean, it needs to be noticeable for it to be, even be worth it, you know. But I'm going to have a. I'm gonna go over the black here and just sl slightly, very slightly, tint it into a tint it to a brighter color. And this will make it look like the, um, maybe even the whole lid. Hold on, let, let me try this. Lid, cover, top. <laughs> I don't, they all sound weird, right? But maybe even the whole thing um, would look good lighter like that. And 
maybe I could go even lighter. Um, sometimes I get carried away with this, but maybe I could go even lighter with the very top of this present. But as you can see by by changing the color of the outlines, it almost looks like even the outline has lighting on it, has shading. So this is really giving uh, the present some pretty good dimension. So the next thing I'm gonna do is somewhat tedious. However, I do think it makes everything look a little bit smoother. So I'm gonna take this black outline and I'm going to go very light, maybe, you know, maybe something like this. And I'm going to add, I'm gonna add that in 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 these uh, near the ends, and it it just makes it makes the line look a little bit less jagged. I can also add it in the corner here, and I can add it in the corner here. I can add it in the corner here, here. Since we have this alpha, it doesn't matter what color we put it on top of, it'll um, it'll still look good. So we can put this in a couple of um, in a couple of corners, maybe like here and here, and. Um, it just it just smooths everything out, you know. Let me try there, 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 there. I might end up overdoing this. You don't need to do it on on. Uh, oops, you don't need to do it on both sides. Um, however, some people like this look. Some people don't. Um, for this present, I, I think it makes it look more detailed. I, I think stuff like this makes it look like there's more um, effort put into the pixel art. But also, it kind of makes it look like it has a little bit more um, subtle details, like uh, like maybe that the wrapping paper has a little bit of creases in it and stuff. And for, like for example, th this this present looks like kind of like a box. But if you wanted to emphasize that it's wrapping paper, th you could have something like this um, go across it. You see that? And that would that would uh, that would be like a crease in the in the wrapping paper. That's better for probably fabric. And if we animated this, I'm getting ahead of myself, but we could have the top lid pop off and I would even do a graphic of like the inside of the box. And then you could use this to, uh, for like maybe in a video game, you could have a daily loot box. And this would be so easy to animate. And I, <laughs> I want to probably put something like this into a game. So this looks like a pretty good box, but it doesn't really look like a present yet. And that's because I think we need a bow on this. Totally need a bow, right? A ribbon or whatever. And I'm tempted to go with white for the ribbon. However, if we give the ribbon a color, we can hue shift it. If you do white, you cannot hue shift um, white because it'll always be the color white. So I'm gonna create a ribbon here and maybe try, maybe I'm gonna try something like light blue or whatever. And not necessarily because I want the ribbon to be light blue but because we can hue shift it to then pick a color that we like. So I need to find the uh, some somewhere near the center of this. And I think we can put the bow under the shadows. Oops, so let's put the bow under the shadows. So that way we don't even need to shade that. And we already have the, the color of it. So here on the side, um, we got, actually the blue looks pretty good. And, um, so when you're going up this, do not put it right here. You don't. That's not where. That's not where you wanna. Where you wanna have that. Remember how this is sticking out uh, two pixels. So what you'd actually want to do is have it probably be two pixels off to the side. Um, two pixels looks kind of like a lot. So I'm just gonna. Pro I'm probably just gonna do one. I think one still gives it that look that it's um, it's hanging off the side. And then same thing with this. We're gonna want to. Um, we're gonna want to have this off to the side because I didn't do this sh sh <clears throat> shading on the shadow layer. You can see we don't have it on that line, which kind of doesn't look so great. But um, yeah, and then I think we should make this a little bit thicker. All right, that's looking pretty good. So there are a couple of ways we could do this bow, but I kind of just want to keep it simple, you know. Um, we don't need to get super fancy and super uh, 3D with this. For the bow, I'm kind of just going to put a circle in the middle. And I think that that's a pretty good spot. And I'm just going to fill that in. It'll help help me visualize it. And then I think we can turn on the symmetry tool here. Because both sides can be uh, can be the same here at this point for the, for the bow. And, and now I'm just going to draw, draw the edges here and 
I'm gonna make them pretty big. I think the bigger they are, the better they they look. This part right here is flat because it's it's resting on the the present, and um, I'm actually gonna make that black because it's uh, it's bending over. Uh, you know what I mean? <laughs> I think that looks pretty good. We can turn off the symmetry tool now. Now we can move the bow around. This is why I wanted to put it on another layer. Because imagine if it was on the same layer as the present, we wouldn't be able to move it around. And also now we can kind of like decide how big we want it to be or how flat we want it to be. Like that looks kind of good, you know, it being kind of flat like that. But um, I kind of like it a little bit larger like this. And we can also have um, these uh, ribbons hanging off the edge. I'm also going to make a new layer for this because uh, it'll be easy to just delete the layer or turn it on and off to see what it looks like. But I think, um, you know, the, the end pieces, there'd be, there would be sort of like, this is kind of an extra detail, but it might make it look better, but we would have sort of like the, the ends to the ribbon, you know, something like, something like this. And I think that does make it look better. I'm going to darken it though. But if we want to emphasize that it's uh, that it's uh, hanging, then what we would need to do is uh, I'm going to go back to the shadows and I would I would add shading under this. And by adding shading, you know, shading like here, now it makes it look like it's casting a shadow, which makes it look like it's not resting on the present. It's actually a little bit, you know, like whatever. The, the bow should actually be above the ribbons. Should be like that. <laughs> there we go. I think with shading, I might be able to make the top bow uh, look more realistic because it looks like it's facing forward. But if I shade uh, some of it like, like this, kind of like do a harsh shading on it, it makes it look like it has a little bit more dimension. So even though, so look, even though this, the bow here, is very symmetrical. How we shade it can actually change its form, if you know what I mean. So, so for example, if I added a lot of shading here, you, you see it starts making it look like it's bending a little bit differently. Um, I, I made them almost exactly the same. And you know what, I might actually make them very similar. I think we need to add I don't think this should actually be black. I'm going to add a, a little bit of color in there. There we go. So it, it was, I don't, I don't think having black there was a little bit too, uh, too high contrast. Actually, I, I'm going to try to make it even lighter in there. Yeah, there we go. I think that looks, I think that looks better. I don't think it needed uh, such a harsh black outline there. And for this bow, we could probably even make parts of the bow uh, have, have, you know, that highlighted outline. Uh, let me do that real quick. So for the bow, I'm going to highlight this side here. And it'll actually make this top part, it'll separate it from the others. I think that, the, that these need to be different colors. And what I mean by that is like, you see how this color is exactly the same as this color? I like to differentiate objects using different colors or different sides, kind of like here. Um, and you don't always have to use an outline to differentiate it, but using both outline and color is the best. So for example, here I'm intentionally shading this section to further emphasize that these two are different, uh, different pieces, different parts. And I think that this kind of shading will be pretty, will suffice. We should add a shadow probably on this side too for this ribbon and even up here. Um, oh, I just noticed that the bow is kind of ruining you, you can't see the top because of the bow so it might be better to move the bow a notch up 
Now I'm going to move the ribbons there too. It might be better to move them up so you can actually see the top of the present. And I think I can uh, merge these two now. You can just do merge down and now this whole thing is uh, the ribbon. And let me move the shadows up now. And I think we can add shadows here because this big ribbon uh, would be cast, would, you know, the ribbon would be cast in shadows too. To make this, the to make the middle here um, a little bit rounder, I think I, I think I can shade it like that. Hold on, let me try to shade it even more. Yeah, I think that looks kind of good. Something like that. Don't forget to save. And then I want to smooth that just a tiny bit. Um, I'm going to put that there just to smooth that a tiny bit. And then this color here on the outline of the ribbon, I think we should put it up here as well to show that this would have a lot of lighting. I'm not making it perfectly symmetrical. I'm adding a little bit more on this side because I kind of want the, uh, whatever, you know? <laughs> I think for the outline, I think this should probably be darker. We're super close to having this done. I think that, um, I noticed that the, I'm gonna call this box ribbon or side ribbon. No, 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 this is gonna be called ribbon. And then this one's gonna get renamed. Where's the rename button? There's no rename button? And then this one's gonna be called bow. I forgot to add the ribbon up here under the, under it. So I think we gotta add the ribbon there. However, um, it needs to have a shadow on it. I think this whole that whole spot should have a shadow on it. And actually, I kind of think that there might need to be even more shading here. I think, I think there and there needs even more shading. Something like that. Okay, this is looking pretty good. I think the only thing we really need to add to this is um, a texture to the present, just to make it look a little bit better, you know? And so we're gonna ma make a new layer right above that. We're gonna call this pattern. I think that's like the last thing we need to really add to this to make it really awesome. It's just a little pattern, maybe, um, polka dots or stripes or something. By the way, the software I'm using is called A-Sprite. There's a link in the description. I'm not sponsored by them. I get a tiny little kickback if you buy it through that. Link. All right, so let's go to the circle tool. Let's just start making a bunch of circles. I think that, um, I think that we're gonna put one there and there. What I'm doing here is um, I'm kind of just putting the circles uh, around wherever, but what I can do is I can, I'm going to lower the alpha here like this, and then it'll have all the shading in it that it's supposed to have. And what I can do is I can then uh, um, crop. I'm just going to crop the, the edges of the circles off like this. And um, I think that looks pretty good. We wouldn't even need to really add the pattern to the other sides. And you can make up your, um, you can make your own pattern up. But um, let me turn this back up. But let me see if, uh, you know, I don't want it to be super similar. So I'm, kind of, I'm, I'm manually drawing some of the pattern here. Maybe something like this. And then, for example, up here, I think that maybe just like 
half a circle here might be good. And then like a little piece of circle there. For this section, man, I don't even know if we need to, but maybe something like that would make it look like there's a pattern there. And let's lower the alpha. I like it when it's kind of subtle. What do you guys think? When it's subtle, then it looks more like just like a pattern on the paper and it doesn't start taking away from the from the rest, right? I think that looks pretty good. Um, however, this circle here looked really big. I'm just like polishing now. Um, polishing it up a little bit, trying to make stuff look a little bit rounder. I think I made the circles too big. The problem with them being too big is that then they don't look that round. <laughs> but, uh, and I made them kind of symmetrical. I think that we that maybe it'll be better if like, for example, there, there's one off to the side. And then maybe it'll look better if one's here, like, you know, a little bit less, uh, a little more sporadic, kind of like, uh, kind of like that. And now what we can do is we can add shadow down here under the present, maybe something like this. And uh, shadows just make it, ooh, shadow just make it look that much better. And if we wanted the, the lighting to be kind of harsh, you could also, you could have like something like this. Wow, that came out really well. I'm gonna add that present to my free to use pixel art asset pack and you can use it in your art, in your games, I don't care. Just follow me on itch and I'll be posting future game prototypes and demos on there and I'd love to get your feedback. I have a Patreon if you wanna support the channel. This is the high scoreboard. Kyle, you sitting on top. Number one. And that's Waluigi uh, reference. Anyway, happy holidays. I'll see you guys next week. A devlight.